My experience in war were I was a working class kid, recruited out of poverty, having been in care, and grown up very poor, uh, into the army, mostly for economic reasons, but also I kind of believed, believed the hype, believed what the army was about, believed it was a force for good in the world. I was deployed to Afghanistan where those ideas very quickly came apart and then I refused on moral grounds and legal grounds to redeploy and was tried, court-martialed and jailed. The military is divided by class. There are officers who are from better off backgrounds and there are soldiers who are generally from working class communities. Very often now in this country the communities which uh, Thatcher smashed, the north of England, Wales, Scotland um, and so the people who do most of the dying are people from uh, the poorest backgrounds. It certainly looks like the main actors are backpedaling on the war in Iran or the potential war in Iran. But we shouldn't be complacent, we have to be vigilant. These things can change in a second when you start throwing uh, missiles and stuff around, when we're dealing with games of great power. And obviously there is a long-term project. The West has had its eyes on Iran for decades. And the fact is every war, every imperialist war, throws up resistance on the streets, in places like Trafalgar Square, which you see today, but also in the ranks. And it's important that those people, the people who dissent and who organise in the ranks, are supported because they are key. The experience of Vietnam shows that soldiers refusing to fight is one of the best ways, the key strands, if you want to stop a war. More and more, independent media um, is vital. And so if you want to support Double Down News, go to their Patreon and help them out. What they do is really important.